Hello all, Bimbler here, and today I'm going to bring you another instalment of the Adventures of Bimbler. As we can see here on my gil um, guild island, I've got up to tier 4 crafting stations, and the same is true over on my personal island. I have um, mostly tier 4 crafting stations, and also we have a farm, and we have a paddock to rear livestock. Um, in fact, that's what we're seeing on. If we have a look, this is one of my um, crafted transport oxes. So it's all going pretty well at the moment. We've got quite a lot of resources, um, gathering them quite a lot over the last week. We've also, if we go over here, we're getting some sets of equipment together so that when we go out PVPing in the black zones, we won't be it won't be too much of a painful experience um, being killed we'll be able to come back and be able to re-equip and go straight back out in the you know initially I couldn't go PvPing at all because I only had my um, the starter meal that you get at the beginning of the game and if I lost that that would have been pretty disastrous so I decided to wait until I had the backup of a few mounts which I've now got so now the plan is to go to the black zones in fact, I have already been, and I've had mixed success. One occasion ended like this. Okay, well it's quite obvious I handled that pretty badly. I'm pretty inexperienced with the PvP side of the game at the moment. Um, and I'm hoping to improve, not not just with my personal skills, but also with um, Bimbler's skills. He's um, still pretty low on most of the um, weapon skills, etc. If I can find his... Um, yeah, we're only up to 16, which is... Just, I don't think he was anywhere near that during that fight, and... We got up to 21 on the the sword fighting skill, so we are getting there, and hopefully that will help. I've changed my um, build slightly, so I'm now using the hunter's jacket and using haste, and with these swords, it really does put out some quite good DPS. Although I'm yet to see how well that does in um, PvP, but anyway, I've. Um, I'm going to do some Hellgates as well. I've done a couple, which are quite challenging because obviously I've got to do them solo because the whole point of um, doing this Bimbler experiment is everything is to be done solo. So it'll be interesting to see um, what gains I can get doing the Hellgates. Um, and yeah, things are going well. Um, one thing that I've taken from this is I'm really enjoying it. It, it. You know, rather than just playing the markets and buying equipment, it feels pretty good that I'm making everything for myself and I'm not relying on exploiting things like the markets to make lots of money, which, um, you know, I know a lot of people enjoy that and I, I think it's an absolutely essential part of the game. But for me, I, I kind of want to do it in a different way. So, so far, really enjoying playing Bimbler. And um, if anyone is actually viewing these, I hope you are enjoying it too. And um, that's all for today. So thank you for watching and see you later.